Hey there, this is Animation. In this video, we'll learn how to apply clarity to your images to bring out texture. And how is clarity different from contrast? Adding clarity to your images makes them look dramatic. And in this video, we'll also discuss how much clarity is acceptable, how much is not acceptable. Accepted that clarity adds drama to your images. It brings out textures amazingly. It's an excellent tool. But get this, if clarity adds drama, it can also add trauma. So you need to be extremely careful when you apply clarity to your images. So without any further ado, let's get started. But before we begin, the usual, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Please don't be selfish about it. Okay, so let's get started. Think of clarity as enhancing texture to your images. Increasing clarity enhances texture. Decreasing clarity makes the texture smooth. But mind you, clarity is very different from contrast. So for example, I have this image opened. Now let's try and increase clarity. So as you increase clarity, you see a lot more texture in the clouds and, and the sea. Okay, so let's uh, reset the clarity and now let's increase the contrast. It's already increased. Let's increase it a little bit more. Now, it also adds a little bit of texture, but it's different. As you can see, it's totally visually different. But let me explain how actually it's different from the histogram. So let's bring back the contrast to zero. Now, at this point, notice the histogram. Notice all the colors, all the reds, the yellows and the blues. Notice the colors in the histogram. When I increase the contrast, all the colors are affected throughout the histogram. Doesn't matter uh, whether the color was on the right, was on the left, on the middle, doesn't matter. Everything gets affected. So let me bring back the contrast to zero. Now let's increase clarity. Now when I increase clarity, as you can see, the colors in the middle, okay, the middle peak is affected. So what does this say? Clarity only affects the midtones. In other words, you can say that clarity increases the contrast of the midtones, not of the dark, dark areas, not of the brighter areas, but of the midtones. Let's look at this image. Okay, so when I uh, increase the clarity, as you can see, I'll just do that in a second, let it load a little bit, and now it's loaded. And let me increase the clarity a little bit. So as you can see, when I increase the clarity, what happens is only the midtones are affected. There are some dark areas like this one, like this one. They don't get affected at all, only the midtones. So what is clarity? It increases the contrast of the midtones. Now, clarity can make your images look dramatic. It can make it look really beautiful. So uh, the image, this image was like this, and if I increase the clarity, it, it gives it a really nice look, especially for street, uh, street photography or landscape photography. It really brings out the texture. It makes it look amazing. But I've seen this problem with people, even myself when I began using Lightroom, and other people who began using Lightroom. I, I see them just overusing this clarity slider. See this increasing it, and if they're not satisfied, they go over the brush and paint again and increase the clarity, boost up the clarity a dozen times. So if you're using Lightroom for the first time, you'll be compelled to do that. It all might look cool in the first instance, but tell you what, this makes your images look traumatic. Not dramatic, traumatic, to be more specific. Now, as you can see in this image, Overusing the clarity has a lot of drawbacks. For First of all, it just makes it look unrealistic. As cool as it might look now, but when you become a little bit professional, this totally looks unrealistic. Also, it creates a lot of highlights and shadows, making it look like a shiny object. Now, let me tell you the most distracting part about overusing clarity. So let's get back to this image. Okay, let's get back to this image. Now, a little bit of clarity is good. Let's increase the clarity a little bit and see how it, how it makes it look, that makes the image look dramatic. Now, it's nice, it's looking good. But if I go overboard and to the extreme end, as you can see, this looks, this looks so terrible. Why? Because look at the edges of the building. Just look at the edges. How did it become bright? How did this 
halo effect come see whenever you see a plain line whenever there is a line of contrast in your images and you increase the clarity so much so that it starts to show halo effect outside the uh, line of contrast so let's bring the clarity to the zero and it looks all fine it looks all clean but if you increase it you, you begin to see a halo effect and when you upload this online this looks dramatic and any person who knows Lightroom or Photoshop will straight away say too much clarity boss this won't do also as you can see around the street lights there is a black kind of halo you, you don't want that see see here just go one is to one and look how can this be so bright when the background is so dark okay how can there be a black light around the street light is the street light emitting black light that's interesting anyway let's, let's get back into our topic let me show you another example so in this image also this is looking all so cool all so nice but when I go ahead and increase the clarity you begin to say this see the same halo effect just see just see above the buildings how did it just become bright it looks so unrealistic this phenomenon in the creative world most of us call it clarity abuse and you shouldn't abuse the clarity slider so using the clarity slider it's great for using for increasing texture in your images but make sure you don't do that too much now think of clarity slider as adding muscles to your images a little bit of it is good a little bit of it makes your images look fit but too much of it makes it look like this right you don't want this unless you are specifically looking for this result either ways this is the thing that you're looking for this is the thing this is the extent that you have to go increase only till that point at which your images look fit but beyond that fit area your images will look like as if they had steroids also there's a way to increase clarity nicely without getting the halo effect and the way is using adjustment brushes which I'll discuss in my next video I see many street photographers overuse and abuse the clarity slider and I don't want you to be that okay so that's all for today it's time to wrap up and i'll see you guys in my next video till then stay tuned and make sure that you keep creating and don't get overwhelmed by the amount of sliders lightroom has to show this is so simple just play around with sliders break the rules and hit the market okay this is Unmesh signing off